you are struggling to learn AWS. I know this because I was in your situation once. I have switched my career from legacy technology to AWS. Currently, I'm a senior solutions architect working at AWS for more than four years. Whatever I'm going to share is based on my own experience as well as based on my discussions with my students. So I'm going to go over top three reasons why you are struggling to learn AWS and how you should overcome them. Reason number one, you are trying to memorize irrelevant service names and irrelevant service details. AWS has over 200 services, which is really amazing. They work as Lego blocks, which you can mix and match to build amazing architectures. But if you are someone who is trying to get into a AWS job, or perhaps you got into a project that started using AWS and you are trying to master that area. In those cases, you need to be laser focused. Even though it is tempting to try and learn additional services which are not related or very, very loosely coupled to the area of your interest, you have to resist it. And secondly, even when you are mastering one specific service, you cannot remember everything. So if you are like me, I was a hardworking, studious student at school. I was not the smartest one, but I was the hardest working one. So I would go study the books, study everything, and then go to the exam. That approach does not work for AWS services because there are so many details of one AWS service, it is impossible to remember one. You will stress yourself, number one. Number two, you will forget the important areas. So how to overcome this? When you learn a service, keep these things in mind. You need to understand how does the service work and fit with other relevant services. Number two, how does the service scale? Number three, how can you secure this service? Number four, how can you make the service highly available? And number five, how do you cost optimize the service? You don't need to remember nitty gritty and nuances of every service. And naturally, when you work in the area, you will learn more details about the service. Second reason you are struggling to learn AWS is you are following a broad roadmap. So for example, you want to get a job at DevOps. So I was looking at this roadmap, which is very popular right now, and I don't know who created this, and if the person who created this actually know all this, or if he or she worked in DevOps in a practical real world projects. This roadmap suggests you should master Ruby, JavaScript, Node.js, Rust, Windows, Linux, OpenBSD, Screen, Flux, Linkerd, Envoy, Kubernetes, Docker Swarm, Nomad, Chef, Puppet, AWS CDK, CloudFormation, Pulumi, Travis CI, TeamCity, Azure DevOps Services, Drone, Plunk, AppDynamics, OpenTelemetry, AWS, Azure, Linode, Heroku, Vulture, and more. And this is not just all the names. These are the names that this list says you must learn. And in addition to that, there are other things here to learn. If you master all this, will you get a Cloud DevOps job? Yes, but by the time you get a job, your friend will get a job, get married, have a kid, and the kid will start going to school. It is very easy to create a roadmap and put everything in it. Then it's not a roadmap at all. It's just an exhaustive list of all the technology and services that exists in that area. It is not manageable for you to master this kind of roadmap, especially if you have a full-time job or you're going to school or college. Instead, find a roadmap that you can manage and master in a finite amount of time. The goal is, is not for you to perpetually study for months and months and years. The goal is get a job at the minimum amount of time possible. So for that, you need to learn the technology and services which has the highest bang for its buck, which has the highest impact, which gets asked in the interview most often and which is used in real world projects most often. Also remember, no roadmaps are perfect because 
no two job requirements are same a good roadmap covers you for the maximum amount of jobs that's it even if you master everything there will be a job requirement which requires something extra so where can you get such a good roadmap does a perfect roadmap exist no but the roadmaps i give are pretty close all jokes aside check out the roadmap videos the roadmap videos i created are based on the feedback from my students as well as analyzing hundreds of actual job applications and based on my real world interviews third reason you are struggling to master aws is not doing proper hands-on when learning aws you need to do two kinds of hands-on one service specific hands-on number two doing real world projects which uses more than one services now here is the trick if you try to do detailed hands-on in on every service that you are learning that is not manageable you need to be masterful on practicing individual service hands-on and you need to pick real world projects that's actually useful not all hands-on projects are created equal there are hundreds of hands-on projects there are hands-on projects which uses very very niche and fancy aws services but again you need to keep your goal in mind if you are going for interviews you need to master certain aws services that's why you need to do certain hands-on projects check out my five real world aws projects video i go over the actual real world hands-on projects that you need to do to get a job and that will be useful in real world projects there is another reason which i personally suffered from that stopped me from mastering aws faster analysis paralysis First of all, I was not sure which cloud to learn, AWS, Azure, GCP. Second of all, after I picked AWS, I was not sure which area to go to a job for. Should I focus on programming? Should I do DevOps? Should I do system administration? Should I do machine learning? Should I do big data analytics, etc. And if you are a kind of person who thinks a lot before taking a decision like me, this is very difficult decision. What I would suggest is start learning the core concepts of AWS, especially compute, storage, networking, and security. And down the line, whether you go DevOps, system administration, solutions architecture, even SDE, all this core knowledge will be useful. So stop doing analysis paralysis and start learning AWS. If you are interested in learning AWS from scratch, check out my new AWS course for beginners in Udemy, highest discounted coupon in the description. All right, folks, that's it for this one. I'll see you guys and girls in the next video. Bye.